tell me about yourself this is a common question that a lot of us whether you are an ESL adult learner an experienced person or even a native speaker this is one of the most difficult questions to answer because a lot of times we don't know how to answer this question for example I might say something like this Hello, my name is Teacher Dara. I am an ESL teacher. I have two parents. I have, a, I have a brother. I live in New York City, particularly in Brooklyn, and I love to drink coffee and I just love teaching my students. Okay. Now, I want you to think about what I said and ask yourself, is this something you should be sharing with a, an employer? Is this something you should be sharing with a potential employer or manager or boss hmm now you might be wondering well what's the big deal teacher Dar? you know I, I did introduce myself and I said where I'm from and I talked about my family and what I love to do isn't that important well it is important but for employers they really want to know about your work experience your work background so this is what you're going to do instead Hello, it's nice to meet you. My name is Dara K. Fulton. I am an ESL teacher with 17 years experience teaching adults from all over the world, the English language. So what happens is that I'm giving a little background and I can go in more details about where I worked at. I can talk a little bit about the type of English classes I taught. For example, I taught beginner to advanced level classes. I worked in nonprofit as well as one-to-one -one private tutoring as well as language schools. So this is something you want to focus on. And remember, your empl the employer who is interviewing you will have a copy of your resume. So you don't have to list every single job that you've done. You just wanna focus on the most recent job that you've done and give an overview of your work experience. This can be done between two to three sentences. I wouldn't go in much detail unless they have questions for you. So you wanna focus on what you did, how long, and if you wanna add your why, that's okay too. You can even mention, I love helping people and being a teacher really gives me joy. It makes me feel good knowing that I'm making a difference in someone's life. You can say something like that. If you want to elaborate, for example, let's say the employer wants you to give more information, this is where you can incorporate your skills. What can you do? There are two different types of skills you want to think about. You have hard skills and you have soft skills. Your soft skills is your personality. I am friendly, I am patient, I am hardworking, I am reliable. Or you can, be, you can talk about your hard skills. These are things you know how to do. I know how to type, I know how to create videos, I know how to teach, I know how to write. So you want to really give the employer some soft and hard skills because even though you might be experienced in the hard skills, employers today really want to know about your personality. Are you someone they can talk to? Are you someone who's patient? If you're working with people, are you friendly or do you like to work alone? They really need to know this depending on the type of job you are applying for. So make sure you mention that. Now be prepared that the employer may take some of the things you're telling him or her and they may want you to give more information. And so always pay attention to those as we call follow up questions. And follow up questions just means extra questions to follow something that you just stated. And if there's ever a time, especially if you're an ESL adult, some is a question that they're asking you you're not quite sure of, you can simply say, excuse me, can you repeat that please? Or, I didn't quite get that. Can you say that again? It is okay to ask the employee to repeat him or herself. It lets them know that you really want to answer their question the right way. So it's good that you understand it, the question that they're asking you. Now, let's say they ask you a question you absolutely have no idea. Maybe they're using certain words in English and you're like, whoa, how do I answer that? You can simply be honest and say, I'm sorry, but English is my second language and I don't quite understand your question. Can you say it in a different way? 
Now, what you're asking the employer to do is you're letting the employer know that, one, you're interested in answering the question, but you need them to say it in a different way. Maybe the employer can use a different vocabulary word, or they might ask it in a more simpler way for you to understand. There's no shame in that. And as adults, we make this mistake, even us native speakers, because we don't want to feel embarrassed. But I will tell you from personal experience, I've asked this question, I've made this request, and I felt so much better that I was able to understand the question and answer it accordingly. I would rather do that than to just sit there and, okay, mm-hmm, yeah, and have no idea what the question is. So it's okay to be honest. So the next time someone asks you, tell me about yourself or can you tell me about yourself? Focus on, of course, your name, who you are. Focus on what you've done. Mention your experience, like the years or months experience. Mention some of the tasks that you've done at your most recent job and try to incorporate some hard and soft skills in that. So that way the employer has an idea of the kind of work you are, and then they will continue with the interview accordingly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. If you're interested or need any help with interview questions and answers, resume writing, or you're interested in making a career change or looking for a job, please feel free to reach out to me. Please email me. All that information will be underneath this video and I will be happy to help you. Say it with me. Always try your best because when you try your best, you certainly will do your best. Good luck and I'll talk to you soon.